ne ba yake ne mu ne asim ka ciri azalu all right once again good morning good afternoon good night it depends your time and your wonderful location you are joining us today at eastern news 24 asim ka chuku ka be ma premier ni ne gozu no bomi bo omo biafra ise 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 all right as kwara chuku ka be ma premier ga gozu ma sim na ne ka no nye ndu gozu kwe awa pm na isai ma isai mo na eba all right ka ba pini oso igosi ni faji ma ka we be no bosin keta tata bo first of july gent of mo fuma am the special council to ma sim na ne ka no aloy ejima ko bole nuku ozi di oke mbo ejima ke awa ebia awa bolo ko wali ni na stenozi am the special council to ma zina ne ka no ya barista aloy ejima ko gent na ya bo ifo bugase then ni gesi kwa ya bi ifo kabalu drop all your own comment on the commission below all right and once again don't forget that this is eastern news 24 we have give to you the latest news on what is happening in biafra land that no All right, um, over to you, sir. Alloy, special counsel to Mazin and the Kano Alloy Ejimako. Over to you, sir. One of you listening to me out there, and of course, I want you to pay very good attention. Right now, I don't want to talk too much. Rather, I want to go straight to the news and read as we dissect the information. Of course, we must read together. And I will be reading from Daily Post Nigeria. Though I will take you to the official Twitter handle of Barista Aloye Jimako, so that we read how he wrote it or how he tweeted it early today. So let us go first with Daily Post. They said here, Biafra, we are not begging federal government to release Nam De Kano, lawyer. This is the headline from Daily Post. Then when we go to Barista Loye Jimako, we will read how he actually tweeted it earlier today. Now, Aloye Jimako, special counsel to Nnam Dekano, leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, has said releasing the Biafra agitator is not an act of mercy. So now, this is where they picked their own headline from. Of course, it is not an act of mercy. And I'm going to clarify this. It's not about the English language. I'm going to clarify it. I'm going to let you know what it means that it is not an act of mercy, which is true. So for me to clarify that, I will take you back to the previous tweet of Barista Loye Jimako, where he you know, sent a special message to Tinubu. Then from there, we can be able to make a very good clarification of this very statement here. Now, uh, Jimako said, releasing Kanu is an act of taking the right decision. He said Kanu's release should be an act of obeying court decision because his detention was illegal. Yes, his detention was and still illegal because first of all he was kidnapped and renditioned so it is never an act of extradition because Mazinam de Kano was never subjected to Kenyan court he was never taken to court neither was there any judgment for him to be you know extradited to Nigeria so they kidnapped him from through the back door and you know brought him back to the zoo so that is what is called an act of extraordinary rendition so now according to him tweeting he noted that kano's extraordinary rendition was illegal according to ejimako let it be clear that the matter of releasing nam de kano is not an act of mercy so you don't for people to say pardon him pardon the court has said that he should be released unconditionally even to compensate him united nation working committee on arbitrary detention also ordered his unconditional release with you know a, a apology and compensation because the united nations understand what the zoo has done they know what the government of the zoo has done but they are not hitting hard on it because 
they know a farmer or all nazo before the zoo government was able to kidnap Mazin Amdekano and rendition him to the zoo. So they, are, they have said what they said, although the punishment may come later. It may not come now from the UN, but it may come later because it is already recorded that they have advised that Nigeria government should release Mazin Amdekano unconditionally. So let's continue here. According to the tweet, instead, it's an act of taking the right decision to obey the court slash tribunal decisions that declared his detention illegal. And this, MNK shouldn't have been renditioned in the first place. So now, Abarisalo uh, Ejimako uh, is telling you that given the pronouncement of the court of competent jurisdiction that Mazinam Dekan be released, it is now releasing him now is no it's not an act of mercy you don't you are not trying to pity him to release him you are not you are doing the needful you are trying to obey the rule of law you are trying to obey court orders so it is not an act of mercy or cowardice it is not an act that we are begging or the lawyers are begging to free mazinam the canon it is the rule of law for you to obey the constitution and obey the rule of law once the court of competent jurisdiction has made a pronouncement on a certain issue it ought to be like that the executive has to obey failure to obey the rule of law or to obey the order from the court of competent jurisdiction that means you are throwing the country into anarchy and if anything happens moving forward you should be held accountable the executive the government the presidency and the armed wing of the government should be held accountable for disobeying the court order because once that is done it is completely anarchy now let me bring to you the initial tweet of baristalo ejimako that led to this statement and then we will also read this particular statement from the official twitter handle of barista alo ejimako from there we can be able to see how or what he actually said concerning this very matter so i want us to first of all see the old tweet hmm? which was made on the 25th of june which is of course two days ago so according to the tweet he said under the constitution the the agf attorney general of federation in practice the president has the power to stop any criminal trial so president tinubu doesn't have to wait for the supreme court to undo the grave injustice rendition done by his predecessor by releasing mazinam dekano at official abat so now of course we have treated this matter before he attached the page where it is actually said in the constitution of the damnable zoological republic so right now let me take you back to the latest tweet which of course was done today few hours ago this is the right way barrister lawyer jimako tweeted it even though there is no too much change you know but this is now what barrister lawyer jimako actually said today he said let it be clear there's a reason why he said let it be clear for avoidance of doubt for anybody who tries to twist what he said previously or for the that call themselves Igbo elders begging for the release of Mazenam de Kano. This is not the matter of a beg. If you want to beg, fine, you can continue begging, no problem. So you don't say we are against you for begging. You can continue begging, no problem. But let it be very clear that the matter of releasing Mazenam de Kano is not an act of mercy. So you don't say tomorrow pardon him give him the presidential pardon how do you give somebody presidential pardon when the court of law has already freed that person the court of competent jurisdiction as a matter of fact the second highest court in the country which is court of appeal because after supreme court you get court of appeal before any other court in any country of the world so now the court of appeal which is as strong as being the second strongest court in the country 
has said this man should be released unconditionally and immediately with apology and compensation and you're still keeping that person so how do you arrive in pardoning that person or having mercy on that person that means you have disregarded the court order and now you want to have mercy and that mercy may come with conditions so that's why it is good to be clarified for anybody begging for the release of Mazen Amdekano should know that it is not a matter of mercy but it is a matter of obeying court order which every other nation in the world does in order to respect and uphold democracy he said here instead it's an act of taking the right decision to obey the court slash tribunal decisions that declared his detention illegal and this mnk shouldn't have been renditioned in the first place if we get now so this is the main matter here this is the case here this is how barrister aloe jimako tweeted it and it is very very important to make this clarification makandota because the matter at hand is too heavy it is not something that you treat with kids glove it is it is very fragile if nigeria makes any further mistake in the case of mazenam dekano it is capable of setting everywhere ablaze in the zoo it is capable of causing inferno that even international community will struggle to quench so the earlier they start speaking up now and start acting by sanctioning the zoo in so many ways in a way that is going to impact the economy of the zoo of nigeria very 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 heavily the better for everybody the better for international community the better for european union and by that only in the new much in the movie fair on a new one one night workers were called a bow was no cozy in care bow on yana cool market a bow the special counsel to mass it now the can only in the okano when i look at a lawyer to my code work or cipher and our brother and you look like a work or wife okay guys say now twitter handle yeah yes kefi will he keep kuba star maka ya bo if you want to work you and you have if a lawyer to my call kuba gase makam nam de canus ladies can you will he keep a drop wire on the comment section below corner about say bini ne bumbo wa kan dumbo wana anuku ya all right and once again don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe stay tuned at eastern news 24 where we bring to you the more news update on the line dan numunem kemesian